Okay, so um, I I ended up with some trouble trying to get Android on a Orange Pi Zero Three, and I want to show you as far as I got. Though the uh, tools that we'll get to in a second include, it will say it's formatting the SD card. Um, it's not going to work until you get this SD card formatter, and so you can actually go to sdcard.org. So look for the SD association and download the specific formatter, which sounds ludicrous, it's something like so basic, but this is a uh, save me a couple times. You need a quick format without a label even. Um, okay, so select the. Make sure you have the SD card selected and format. Yeah, and it gives you that warning for a good reason because you're gonna erase something you might not want to okay so while that's going I'm going to show you the tools my website which I really like their stuff service and download maybe Alright, Android image. There it is. So download it. Yeah, download it. You have to actually extract it twice. And so that uh, threw me off for a second. So with this file, you know, like I use 7-zip, extract files. And then it will give you this. And you need to 7-zip extract files. And then you have this nice image file. Okay, so go to official tools. Um, this, let's see, I mean, that could be the same thing. I'm not sure, but I just went ahead and got it from the SD association. Um, and it looks like our SD card is formatted now. Okay, cool. So that's good. Um, Android test app. Android image burning tool. Okay, so this is, uh, that's, that's a Windows update. So go ahead and, um, do this. So what you do with these, right click and download. Phoenix card tool. So this is kind of the tough cookie. So get that as well. Extract this. And we have it extracted. Come down. I run it as administrator for the heck of it. So now we have Phoenix Phoenix card. So go to image, find your image Android, open, I'm going to choose startup, and we are going to make sure the right drive was selected and hit burn, and so it's going to say formatting the card, and it probably is in some sense. If you're looking for something else to do with the uh, Orange Pi Zero 3, I used uh, Open Media Vault, and to do that, you download the uh, Linux server version of the uh, operating system for Bullseye, and um, that that worked amazing. So it's the non-desktop version, non-GUI, and there's tutorials on installing uh, Open Media Vault. And you can like easily program it with the Windows tool of file history to be like a backup for several computers, and yeah, it works for like a month and a half without any errors so far. So it's doing really good. So we've started burning, which is nice. Okay, so you'll see you see that it'll say uh, burn success several times uh, while it's working, and. Uh, be sure you go through until the end where it's green. Okay. 
So that is all good. Take our micro SD card out and we're going to put it in the Orange Pi 03. Okay, so I was about to say that uh, screen sharing does not work, but so some of the steps I had to do first uh, on your Orange Pi, you can go to the uh, the Wi-Fi connect to the strongest Wi-Fi signal, and so in my case, I could not get it to work over the um, the five gigahertz um, connection, so I had to go to the two point four, the regular Wi-Fi, because it was stronger. <laughs> So um, try that and also connect your phone to the same network, which might require uh, choosing forget network for the under your Wi-Fi settings in your phone. And then you can open up Miracast on your um, Orange Pi Zero. And then on your Android phone, uh, search settings for screen sharing. And... Um, it's pretty straightforward after that and connect to it. Okay, so the part that still is not working, then what you're supposed to do is go to about, and scroll down with the build number, keep clicking it. This is you now four steps away from being a developer. Okay, you're now a developer. Nice. I thought that was really cool. Then, what you do, you can go up to apps. And so I don't think this is going to work. It's kind of tough to scroll. Whoa, it's got some bugs. It's okay. So it goes good. Scroll down. And here's the problem. Okay, so the first button you find, you click that. I got this far, and actually, there's a lot of steps after this. And you have to be sure to like close the ad to get to the download screen. And once you see this. Um, on other people's devices, there's actually a dialog that pops up and allows you to download and give permissions to things. Uh, however, with this, it's just nothing. Also, a random tip is uh, remember that the right key, right click is the back button. And also, F2 on my keyboard um, is the home button. Um, I was going to give you an idea. Like, let's say if you did not want to pay for um, like a, a home internet service. Like one thing that you could do is, um, of course, you'd have to have the, the router set up just as well. But um, you could always go out to uh, public Wi-Fi locations. So it's like half of fast food restaurants at this point. And if you had something, a service like YouTube Premium, so you're going to pay $13.99 a month for um, YouTube Premium and you don't even have Wi-Fi. But the thing is that you know, the restaurant, you could just download hours and hours of videos and they don't take up that much space on your SD card they, you can, <clears throat> and then you could come home and just stream them with a Miracast receiver okay so this video is pretty anticlimactic um, if anyone does have a solution for getting past um, uh, to actually be able to download Magisk Manager, you can let me know. Um, in the other tutorial videos, it seemed like the uh, they actually had something called a, a browser, and it was like a an app with a cloud for an icon. 